Hello, welcome to another How to Code Well video tutorial. My name is Peter Fisher, and today we're going to take a look at um, how to change or switch between Docker machines and how I how I alias commands to make things a little bit smoother and quicker in my daily development. So we're in a, a Ubuntu Bash shell here, and if I was to type Docker machine ls we can see that we've got two docker machines temp1 and temp2.sysadmin.local um, the first one here the temp1 is active because you can see by the asterisk um, like so now the way you normally switch between um, uh, docker machines is you usually find out the environment variables and then evaluate those to the current shell so to the current bash shell that I'm in and I'll just demonstrate how you would normally do that. So let's just do Docker, um, Docker machine, and then you would do env for environment, and you would have to type in the machine name that you want to get the environment variables for. So sys uh, sysadmin dot local, and then hit enter, and we can see the environment var variables that are listed. So the host and the the, the name and the path and so forth. This command that they've given you at the bottom is the command that you um, you copy and paste into the shell to set to evaluate these environment variables to commit these to this the current shell. So if I was to run that and press enter, um, then I'm now I've now switched to that Docker machine. If I was to because uh, I've done it on temp one, it would still be there. But if I was to change that back to temp2 for example and then do an ls we can see that we've actually switched because we've committed the um, the exports we've changed these uh, variables to be to be this um, uh, this docker machine the second one here because we can see that that's been set to active now that's quite a lot of typing um, you might have several of these machines and it can become quite messy to have to type in this uh, this piece of text here just to switch. So what I usually do is create some aliases in my bash RC and I'll just demonstrate what I mean by that. So let's just clear the screen and do uh, sudo nano um, or you could use whatever you want so vim or, or, or whatever even a text editor um, and type in uh, what is it bash RC there you go okay now scroll right to the bottom and what we need to do is set some aliases up so what an alias is is basically a, com a, a command that you type um, just a, a word that you type that represents a command that can be executed so alias um, and then it's the alias name. So we're going to do docker machine temp1 and then we're going to equal that to a string. Now within this string is the command that we wish to execute. The idea is that when we when we type in docker machine temp1 whatever in this string gets uh, executed. So what we can do here is do eval, eval and then dollar sign and then in here we do docker machine docker machine env um, temp1 dot sys admin dot local now notice this is the same uh, command that was offered when we did the uh, docker env docker machine env um, and we're just evaluating this is the command that was given to us um, in that uh, section just previously so what I can do is save the file just I'm just double checking that that all makes sense yep so I can save the file click yes um, write to the file and then what we need to do is commit that bash RC file so bash RC like so so what we've done is we've now committed that alias so if we did docker machine temp and then one for example and then did a docker machine ls 
we can see that we've switched just by typing in Docker machine temp one, we've now switched to this uh, this Docker machine here. Okay, this well, this one now is active. So by the same in the same vein, if we did um, if we change the bash R, bash RC file again and scroll to the bottom, changed or copied, I should say, this uh, this line, and then put it at the bottom. Change temp one to be temp two. In that case, and in the commands case, like so. Close the file, save it, commit it again. We can now do Docker machine, and I'm only going to do ma tab, then hyphen dash and tab again temp. And if I was to press tab once more, I would get. Uh, these options here so temp1 and temp2 so I'm gonna go for temp2 this time and then press enter and then if I did uh, docker machine ls we can see now that we've switched to the second machine so again if I was to change that to be one and then did an ls we're now on the first machine the first machine is now active so that's a quick uh, explanation of aliases in, in Linux. It's also an explanation of how to switch uh, between Docker machines um, in the command line. I hope that's helped, thanks. Thank you for watching. Please click the like button if you found it useful and make sure to subscribe to get the next tutorial. If you have any comments, questions or queries, then please leave them in the comments section below. Alternatively, you can tweet them to my Twitter handle, which is PFWD. Thanks again, and I'll see you soon.